gonna try to do an igloo building uh, video here. I got a, I think I got a pretty good snow drift, which is about the, the first thing that you need, and then uh, a shovel. And uh, I'm just using an old crosscut saw, um, which uh, has worked for me. I'm, I'm not, you know, super good, super experienced at this, but. Um, in any event, I have built a few of them, and so we're gonna gonna give it a go here, give it a try. So, first thing I'm gonna do is. Actually, uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just quickly check the depth of the snow, okay. see how much depth I've got. I think I've probably got three or four feet of snow drift yeah, here, so it's looking pretty good actually. The second thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna just draw a circle if you will. I'm going to try to estimate roughly a six foot diameter igloo. I don't want it to be too big, but don't want it to be too small. So I'm just kind of estimating roughly about six feet. Um, and keep in mind that, you know, uh, a three a three foot versus a six foot diameter igloo is, is not twice as much work. It's actually uh, you know the square of the work so um, it's a lot more work then I'm following my circle in the snow and I'm just making a cut around that big circle around the circumference and ultimately the snow drift is going to become part of the igloo I'm going to take blocks from the center of this circle and build the walls with it. And the basement of the igloo or the floor of the igloo will basically be, you know, at the bottom of the snow drift or as comfortable as, as low down as I can possibly get. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm basically cutting the wall of the first three, three and a half feet of the igloo. Then I start to cut the blocks from inside that circle. So I'm using the snow that's inside the igloo to cut the blocks. And of course, the first few are the most difficult to get. So I'm just clearing some of the snow away right now so I can get access to more of the blocks. Um, in this case, there's several different layers of snow. So I've got a, you know, the good, the first kind of six or eight inches of the snow makes some good blocks as you can see there. Um, then there's a layer of kind of corn snow that uh, isn't quite as good. So here I am now inside the igloo using the material from in what's going to eventually be inside the igloo to build the walls. Basically I'm doing this because I'm lazy. Um, you know you want to be as efficient as you can, especially when you're by yourself. So I'm taking the snow blocks from inside the circumference of the igloo and starting to build the walls. And that way, you know, I have to, I don't have to lift them as far uh, as I otherwise would. You see now I'm, I've got pretty good depth, you know, into the snow into the snow drift and I'm starting to stack my second layer of blocks on top of each other and I am also as I'm going I'm now starting to cut them to fit and you want to have you know good surface area on the bottom as well as on the sides so here I am again making another trim cut still inside the igloo so basically, I'm going to build the walls up with as much material as I have before I cut the door. And so now I've more or less used all of the material that I can on the sides, and now I'm starting to cut the door. This is a lot easier than leaving the door until last. This way, I'm actually cutting the arch in the snow drift, with, which is actually quite strong. So use all the material inside the igloo first, then cut the door. And now I'm heading to the outside of the igloo because basically I need more building material. And the building material that I need is now outside the igloo. So I cut the door, crawl out, 
and now I start taking material from outside the igloo. And basically, I want to be as close to the igloo as I can again, so that if you've got the snow and the drift, it has got some lateral extent, you don't have to lift the blocks that far. And, and depending on the density of the snow, these blocks are heavy. Um, one thing, don't get too carried away trying to make blocks too big because uh, they can be very heavy. This is actually, uh, there was a there was a rainstorm. So these this upper crust is actually quite heavy. These are about as heavy as I'd want. The next thing you got to do is you want to spiral the blocks upward. So here I am cutting that ramp so I can start the spiral. This is a critical element for the igloo building. And it was a friend of mine who lived in the Northwest Territories for a while and I actually got some tips from some of the Inuit. So here I am cutting the ramp so that I can start spiraling the blocks upwards. This is a, a key factor in, in the igloo build. Now you can see I've got some blocks that have got some funky shapes to them. Um, probably not the best idea. I was trying to, you know, be have some economy there with some of the fu funny shapes that I cut out of inside the igloo. Those might just mess you up more than anything. So you can see I've got kind of a stack of blocks on the outside. And that's because those were just, they, they broke when I was lifting them. Um, and so I'm, I'm saving them maybe for later. Uh, blocks are coming out well. I'm cutting it on three sides and using the shovel to lever it out. So you can see now I've started up the ramp. I've started the spiral. And I'm, I am cutting the sides of each block so that they can get almost a, a nice flush fit there. And continuing to cut the blocks. And basically I'm moving around the igloo so that and cutting the blocks from wherever I'm working. This just saves energy. Um, so you basically keep going around in a circle. Eventually, I started cutting the blocks on the ground um, just because it, you know, it, it's a little easier to be, to cut them on the ground than to be balancing up, you know, kind of high there for the, when you get to the upper rows. So same thing cutting and for the upper blocks I ended up I'm not using the shovel you know for the underneath piece I started to cut them with the saw underneath and gave me nice flat blocks and what I found that when I got close to the top I wanted to make them thinner but bigger and that that helped me to get the upper levels um, so here you can see the, this block is quite a bit thinner, but it's got quite a quite a big lateral extent, which brings me very close to uh, you know the end of the project here. I've got a couple of more, you know, one more block to go, and there it is. Um, quite you know again a thinner block, more lateral extent, and you can see I've left some room to step up on the outside of the igloo to make it easier for myself. Okay, so... Ah, there we have it. The uh, completed snow house. A few little gaps here and there, but uh, that's more or less it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just go have a look inside. I didn't uh, clear out the bottom, but... Uh, Okay, so here we are. Uh, I haven't cleaned the debris out of the bottom. You could, I could probably get uh, another couple of feet of depth, but uh, thought I would 
leave uh, just a couple of benches in here anyway. So that's pretty much her. If you were, uh, you know, if you were making this into a uh, camp, something to camp in in high wind, you would, you know, fill the gaps in. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm sure some folks would have a little better, uh, you know, carpentry. <laughs> But uh, this isn't too bad. Some, some people will put a uh, sheet of ice on the roof for a window. Seen that done. And uh, anyway, so there's a look just quickly. And uh, yeah, that's basically how to build an igloo uh, by yourself.